In our last video, we looked at how to create a macro. A macro is a recorded set of instructions to do a certain task. And we'll run through the basics of that again in a second. But the focus of this video is how to then, once you've created your macro, to add it to one of the to a toolbar button, an icon. So let's run through the basics of creating one first. Remember we did tools, drop down to macro, and then recorded a new macro. We give the wrap macro a name. I'm going to call this sorting. Decide where to store it in this workbook. Click on OK. We then record the macro simply by doing the key presses. And I'm doing a sorting macro here, so I'm going to choose data, um, sort, and I want to sort by sex first in ascending order, then by town, and then by date of birth, and then OK. The sort's been done. And it's been recorded how I did that sort. I can now stop the recording. Now the beauty of that is that I can do sorts, I can mess around with the data, but if I want to get back that original sort, I just need to run the macro by doing tools, macro, macros, choosing the macro that I want to run, and then running it. And it puts the data back into that sorted way. That's a few key presses to go through to run that macro. Wouldn't it be good if we could just click a button? Well we can. Let's have a look how. You've got to have recorded the macro first and then we need to customize the toolbar. To customize the toolbar you can either right click on a blank area of the toolbar or you can do view toolbars and you can't see it but right down the bottom we click Customize. And it brings up the Customize dialog box. What I want to do then is in the Categories section, drop down to where it says Macros and select it. I've got two options in the right hand side, two commands. The one I'm interested in is the Custom button. So what I'm going to do is click and drag this Custom button and I can drop it anywhere on any of the toolbars that are there. I'll put it here. Once it's there, provided we're still customizing, we can still click it and move it elsewhere. And we can even delete it by clicking and dragging it totally off the toolbars and letting go. So we need to add the button. We then need to modify the button. Now we can use this next process to modify any of these buttons. You'll notice I can select any of these buttons now that we're customizing. But I'm actually wanting to customize this particular button. Once I've got that selected, I then click Modify Selection to access the Modification Toolbar. There's a few things I can do here. I can delete it. I can change the name. So this needs to be... Um, sorting. I can change the image from a smiley face. I can use any of these buttons here or I can edit these buttons. But I'm just going to choose a nice simple one. Let's have, um, for no particular reason, we'll have the picture of a telephone. You can see the picture there is now changed to a telephone. Let's modify again. So we've modified the name and the style of the button. You can change the default styling. But then right down the bottom, we've got Assign Macro. Clicking here will bring up a list of all the macros that you have available to you to use. I'm going to select the Sorting Macro and OK. That macro has now been applied to the button. I close this dialog box and see whether it works. I'll change the sorting order. Now, let's see if it works. Where's my toolbar button? It's here, the picture of the phone. Notice when I hover over it, it says sorting. That's the words that I typed into the customization. Click it once, and our data sort has been done. So that's a really quick way 
of working with macros. Once you've created them, go into Customize, then Macro, drag the button onto the toolbar that you want to use, there this time, and then modify it. Change the name, that will be the screen tip that comes up when you hover over it. Change the image, and then assign macro. Choose the macro that you want to use, and then OK. Close it down, let's see whether that one works. There's my text. Will it change the colours? Yes, it has. While we're on that, that's as much as you need to know for the syllabus. But while we're on it, um, let me just show you one more little thing. If we go into View and Toolbars again, and this time choose the Forms toolbar, I can add a button. So I just click on there once and then click and drag anywhere on my spreadsheet and it creates a button for me that, look what happens, we can assign a macro to this button. I'll do the change colour one and then OK. So now we have a button on the screen to run our macro from. Now that's a lot easier than going tools, macros, macro, etc. And actually, if I just show you that if you right click on that object, you can assign a macro. You can assign a macro to many different types of objects. Have a go at inserting a picture and assign a macro to the picture. That's assigning macros to toolbar buttons.